I hereby call the meeting of the Brockton City Council for Tuesday, October 13th, 2020, 7 p.m. to order. Please stand and join me in saluting our flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would just like to state that all city council meetings are held in accordance with state um, COVID-19 guidelines. Mr. Clerk, agenda item number one. We have acceptance of the city council meeting minutes of September 28, 2020. Accepted and placed on file. We have the report of the audits committee for its meeting of September 29, 2020. Accepted and placed on file. We have the report of the real estate committee for its meeting of October 5, 2020. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of October 5th, 2020. Accepted and placed on file. The appointment of Canol Hill S, 13 Enterprise Street, as a constable in the City of Procton for a term of three years. Referred to Finance. We have the appointment of William Wells of 116 Richmond Street, Brockton, to the Diversity Commission for a three year term ending September 2023, in place of Jacob Tagger of 122 Interval Street, Brockton. Referred to finance. We have the appointment of Emiliano Legrand Sherry, 98 Southfield Street, uh, Southfield Drive, Brockton, as a constable of the city of Brockton for a three year term. Referred to finance. Uh, appointment from the mayor in accordance with the requirements set forth in 963 CMR 2.00, appointing the following members to comprise the school building committee for the Huntington School Roof Replacement Project. Aldo Petronio, CFO, Brockton Public Schools, Chair and Non-Voting Member. Robert F. Sullivan, Mayor, Non-Voting Member. Mark D'Agostino, Ward 3 School Committee Member, Voting Member. Michael Thomas, Superintendent of Schools, Non-Voting Member. James Pluff, Interim Superintendent of Buildings, Voting Member. Ozzy Jordan, Community Member with Construction Experience, Voting Member. Dennis Ianeri, Ward 3 City Councilor, voting member. John Lander, Principal of the Huntington School, non-voting member. And Man, uh, Matt Stanton, Community Member, voting member. Pursuant to Section 60 of the City Charter, these appointments are submitted to the Council for conf confirmation. Refer to Finance. We have a communication from the Mayor recommending that the City Council authorize the Mayor to execute grant of easement and to take other action as necessary to carry out the terms, purposes, and conditions of the same to Mass Electric Company for an underground electric distribution system located on the southerly side of Crescent Street at parcel 110-016 and parcel 110-017, most particularly as described in the grant of easement. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of Police Department requesting authorization to expend $1,000 in donated funds to be used for K-9 supplies and equipment as needed for the Brockton Police Department. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have communication from the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44 recommending that the City Council authorize the acceptance and expenditures of the total grant award in the amount of $25,000 from the Executive Office of Administration and Finance Community Compact Grant to Mayor's Office Community Compact Grant Fund. This grant will be used for the costs associated with the review and evaluation of the City's financial management structure. No match is required. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44, recommended the City Council authorize the acceptance and expenditures of the total grant award in the amount of $15,000 from the Executive Office of Administration and Finance Community Compact Grant to Mayor's Office Community Compact Grant Fund. This grant will be used for the cost associated with development, documentation, and implementation of the financial policy and procedures. No match is required. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44, 
recommending that the City Council authorize a total appropriation of $2 million using the form of order with language as recommended by Attorney Richard Mantley of Lock Lord LLP, the City's Bond Council, in order to provide funding through borrowing set amount for the purpose to pay costs of replacing water transmission, main piping, and valves. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Superintendent of Parks requesting additional funding of $150,000 to cover golf management services contract for the remainder of fiscal 21. The supplemental funding is due to the unanticipated success in record gross income during the 2020 golf season. Accepted and placed on file. The communication from the <clears throat> Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of Police. <clears throat> oh, strike that a minute. Let me go back here. Excuse me. Okay. Communication from the Chief of Police Department requesting the authorization to expend $80,000 awarded as a cooperative agreement by the Department of Justice, Office of Community Oriented Policing Services, as part of the Fiscal 20 Law Enforcement Mental Health and Wellness Act program. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of the Police, de <coughs> Police Department request an authorization to expend grant monies related to fiscal 2021 first responders, Naloxon Grant from the Mass Department of Public Health, Bureau of Substance Addition, Addiction Services, and the initial amount of $8,628 distributed between the police and fire department as needed. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the city financial analyst requesting that the grant award <clears throat> be processed through the city council to expend lead hazard reduction grant funds from the Department of Housing and Urban Development in the amount of $4,700,000 with a match of $400,000 allocated through Community Development Block Grant funding. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have the petition of Adam Middleton Santos of 21 Adams Street, Department 1, Dorchester, and Jose Cardoso of 37 Claremont Avenue, Brockton, for a transfer of a garage license located at 50 Meadowbrook Road, Unit 7, Brockton, Mass. End Council, September 28, 2020. Hearing open, Councilor Castro, motion to continue to October 13, 2020. City Council meeting and was properly seconded. Motion carried by a hand vote. Time having arrived, arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please come forward and state your name to the clerk. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. I'm Ed Milson Santos, uh, 21 Adams Street, Dorchester, Mass, 02122. Good evening, uh, Jose Cardoso, 37 Claremont Ave, Brockton. Thank you. Maria's just here to wipe the podium in, in between um, speakers. Thank you, Maria. You're welcome. Councilor Nicastro. Thank you. This is a transfer of a garage license. And um, it, it recites, the notice recites unit six and seven. Mr. Santos uh, made me aware two weeks ago, and I've had the opportunity to do some research and to speak with um, <clears throat> Deputy Chief of Fire, Ed Williams, and it's actually just unit seven. I guess the prior license was for unit six and seven, but there were some changes made at 50 Meadowbrook Road, and now it's just unit seven. So I just want to make sure that when the garage license issues, it's just for unit seven. Okay. Okay. Is there any other councils have any uh, questions or for the applicants? No. Are you all set, Councilor? With I am. Thank you. I support this. Okay. Um, is there anyone else here in favor? Please come forward and state your name to the clerk. 
Seeing none, that portion of the hearing is closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please come forward and state your name to the clerk. If not, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Um, the question is on granting by a hand vote. All those in favor? All those opposed? The petition is granted. Congratulations. Thank you. Good evening. An ordinance repealing section 17-156 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Section 17-156 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton is repealed in its entirety. In Council, August 24, 2020, ready to refer the Standing Committee on Ordinance, that report was favorable. The question is on passage to a third reading by hand vote. All those in favor? All those opposed? The ordinance passes. Ordered that the City of Brockton appropriate the amount of $2,934,376 for the purpose of paying costs of the roof replacement project at the Huntington Alternate School, 1121 Warren Avenue, Brockton, Mass. Including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, the project which proposed repair project would materially extend the useful life of the school and preserve an asset that otherwise is capable of supporting the required educational program and for which the city of Brockton would be Madam eligible President. for a grant for the mass school building. Council Lally. Move to waive the, uh, the reading of the rest of 33. Second. A motion has been made to waive the rest of the reading and properly seconded. All those in favor? All those opposed? Mr. Clerk, you can waive the rest of the reading. Eliminate the rest of the meeting. Is that what you said? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll go right into uh, it. <clears throat> in City Council, September 14, 2020, Reading referred to Standing Committee on Finance. That was favorable. Report was favorable as amended. The City Council, September 28, 2020. The amendment passed by a hand vote. Passed with third reading as amended by a hand vote. The question is on adoption as amended uh, by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Barwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that the City Council hereby declare the four city owned parcels identified as Lot A, Lot C, Lot D, and Lot F on approval not required plan of land dated November 5, 2019, and which were formerly a portion of parcels 109-044 Franklin Street, 109-54-54, and 109-55 Petronelli Way as surplus and available for disposition, and that the mayor be and hereby is authorized to transfer ownership in said parcels to the Brockton Redevelopment Authority in furtherance of the downtown Brockton Urban Revitalization Plan as approved by the Brockton City Council on July 25, 2016, and the Mass Department of Housing and Community Development on October 14, 2016. In Council, September 14, 2020, we're going to refer to the Standing Committee on Real Estate. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that the mayor and our treasurer collector be authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to convey prop the property consisting of 2.595 square feet located and known as plot 7-3 Skinner Street, parcel ID 136-090 to Miguel Antonio Fontes, 38 Skinner Street, Brockton, for the purchase price of $800 said property be sold under the abutters lot program and to be sold with a permanent non-buildable restriction. Said property shall also merge with a budding lot of the purchaser. In Council, September 28, 2020, ready to refer the Standing Committee on Real Estate. That report was favorable as amended. The question is on the amendment. All those in favor of the amendment? All those opposed? 
The amendment um, passes. The question is on adoption as amended by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative? The order is adopted. <clears throat> order appropriation of $75,000 from the Department of Public Health Bureau of Substance Addiction Services, Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services, Mass Opiate Abuse Prevention Collaborative to the Mayor's Office Mass Opiate Abuse Preventive Collaborative Fund. In Council, September 28, 2020, Reading Refer to Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes, sorry. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Ordered an appropriation of $75,000 from the Department of Public Health Bureau of Substance Addiction Services, Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services to Mayor's Office Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Fund. In Council, September 28, 2020, Reading Fair the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. An appropriation of $50,000 from the Executive Office of Health and Human Services, Department of Mental Health, <clears throat> Fiscal 21 Mass Jail Division Program Grant to Police Department Fiscal 21 Mass Jail Division Program Grant Fund. <clears throat> City Council, September 28, 2020. Reading referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. An order of transfer of $2,069,670.20 from Planning Department 40Q for $38,224.08. Planning Department Consultants for two thousand six hundred seventy seven dollars and fifty cents planning department services fifty nine thousand dollars police department vehicles one hundred forty five thousand five eighty five hundred eighty four dollars police department department equipment for thirty two thousand five hundred dollars police department capital projects for four hundred fifty thousand dollars animal control services for fourteen thousand seven hundred sixty four dollars and thirty six cents DPW Water Consultants for $114,473.49. DPW Water Street Repairs for $441,846. DPW EPA Department Mandate Safe Water for $158,476.73. DPW Sewer Capital Project for $159,472. DPW Highway pay, uh, Paving for $299,075.63. DPW Capital Projects for $153,576.41. To Capital Fund for $2,069,670.20. In City Council, September 28, 2020, Reading Refer to Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. 
Thompson. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Ordered in compliance with the provisions of the election laws, notice is hereby given that the state election will be held on Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020, in various polling places. In council, September 28, 2020, Reading refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Madam President? Yes. Council Nicastro, just please stand. This is a city council meeting. Thank you. When we vote this evening, we're voting in conformity with state law. We're voting to approve this item favorably to authorize the president of the city council to execute the report provided to us by the executive director of the Elections Commission. Um, and that report evaluates the potential disparate impact relevant to relocation of the polling locations for Ward 2A and Ward 4A for the November 3rd, 2020 general election and the time immediately forward. Um, so you'll be, execute, you'll be forwarding the executed document to the law department and to the election commissioner. Thank you. Yep, so it's in the form of an amendment? Or no, that's just that. So the, question, so the question is on adoption um, by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASEC? Yes. Cardozo? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Thompson? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Thank you, Councillor. Thank you. Resolved that the mayor and a representative of the law department be invited to a committee of the city council to discuss potential funding of a consultant to work with the city clerk, legislative council to the city council, and the law department to update and modernize the city ordinances. In council, August 24, 2020, reading for the standing committee on finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASEC? No. Cardozo? No. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? No. Farwell? Yes. Lally? No. Mendez? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Nope. Thompson? Yes. Six to five, the resolve um, passes. The resolve passes. Resolve, <clears throat> whereas elected and appointed officials will periodically hold professional development sessions to discuss, evaluate, and define roles and responsibilities, goals, objectives, and to establish best practices for the orderly function of the organization to which they belong, Resolve the City Council shall hold a professional development session on Saturday, October 24, 2020, at a time and location to be determined by the City Clerk. The Clerk shall ensure the session is duly posted in compliance with the requirements of the Mass Open Meeting Law. The clerk shall develop an agenda in consultation with councillors who may offer recommendations for the topics to be discussed. In Council, September 14, 2020, Reading for the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable as amended. Mr. Clark, can we can you read the amendment, please? Because I'm not sure if the amendment included the date change or if it didn't. It's number 41. It's sticking right up here. Yep. The amendment reads as follows. I motion to have the city council president and sponsoring councilor work together on finding a common date and forum inclusive to all councilors. That is signed by Councilor John Lally. Thank you, Mr. Clark. The questions on the amendment, all those in favor of the amendment? All those opposed? The amendment passes. Uh, the question is on adoption as amended by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. ASEC? Yes. Cardozo? No. Cruz? Yes. Ian Erie? No. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Mendez? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? No. Thompson? Yes. Um, eight in the affirmative, three in opposition. The order is adopted.
Order that the city council hereby declare the city owned parcel at Rockville <coughs> Street Project, known as Keith Field, the census map 58 route 71 1 plot 56, being the same premises shown on plan of land in Brockton, June 12, 1920, Hayward and Hayward Severs, 28 Main Street, Brockton, filed with Plymouth County Land Court records as surplus and available for disposition. Refer to real estate. Ordered that the sum of $2 million is appropriate to pay costs of replacing water transmission, main piping, and valves, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, and that to meet this appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the mayor, is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Sections 8 and 5, or pursuant to any other enabling authority, and to issue bonds or notes of the city, therefore. All or any portion of this borrowing may be obtained through the Mass Clean Water Trust, the trust. Any premium received by the city upon the sale of any bonds or notes approved by this order, lest any such premium applied to the payment of the cost of issuance of such bonds or notes, may be applied to the payment of costs approved by this order in accordance with Mass Chap General Laws Chapter 44, Section 20 thereby reducing the amount authorized to be borrowed to pay such costs by a like amount. Further ordered that the city treasurer is authorized to file an application with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Municipal Finance Oversight Board to qualify under Mass General Laws Chapter 44A any and all bonds or notes of the city authorized by this vote and to provide such information and execute such documents as the Municipal Finance Oversight Board of the Commonwealth of Mass may require. Refer to finance. But an appropriation of $150,000 from the taxation and estimated receipts, $120,000, and unappropriated estimated receipts, $30,000, to Parks Department Other Contract Services. Refer to finance. Order an appropriation of $25,000 from the executive. Councilor Nicastro, oh. Mr. Clerk, I believe Councilor Nicastro, these were the items you were going to take under suspension of the rules. Thank you, Madam President. I want to make a motion to take items 46 and 47 collectively and under suspension of the rules. 46 and 47, okay. or I thought it was 45. Okay. 46 and 47. 47. Okay. Okay. A motion has been made and properly seconded to take uh, number 46 and 47 collectively and act on them under suspension of the rules. It was properly seconded. <laughs> okay. An appropriation of $25,000. Okay. All those in uh, favor? <laughs> all those opposed? That's what yeah, I was passes. waiting for. <laughs> An appropriation of $25,000 from the Executive Office of Administration and Finance Community Compact Grant to Mayor's Office Community Compact Grant Fund, no match required. Ordered an appropriation of $15,000 from the Executive Office of Administration and Finance Community Compact Grant to Mayor's Office Community Compact Grant Fund, no match required. Madam, Madam President. Councilor Ian Airy. If I might, I'm, I'm just not familiar. Is this something that we've always had? Um, that's we've asked, I've asked our CFO to be here this evening if um, you had any questions. Well, I do, I, I would like to, I want to sure. explain so the public knows what we're doing here and why. Mr. Clarkson, if you'd like to answer Councilor Ian Airy's questions. Thank you, Madam President and members of the council. Uh, th this is not a reoccurring Grant, I think the, the mayor's office had asked that you take it under suspension because the money was actually received by the Commonwealth before June 30th, even though the, uh, the grant application is dated after. So this is part of the community compact program. You may be familiar with that. Uh, some I, 200 or so communities in the Commonwealth are community compact members. It was an initiative of the Baker administration to try to provide technical assistance to communities. So Brockton has been a community compact community for some time and has received several grants through the program, but these two particular grants uh, were requested by the mayor's office to provide some assistance in developing financial policies, although the city uh, has performed well uh, and has, uh, has sound financial practices uh, in place. 
uh, they are not codified in terms of written financial policies, and that's something uh, when I first came mentioned to you that was really important to do uh, and is a critical component if we're ever to seek an increase in our bond rating. So part of this grant will assist the city in developing those financial policies. My team and I have actually been hard at work on that for some time, but our efforts will dovetail nicely with the work of the Collins Center. In addition, uh, they, uh, they have also offered, uh, the state has offered a grant and the Collins Center is on board to do uh, a full analysis of the infrastructure, the human infrastructure of uh, our financial systems and how they work, uh, the people, the positions to, uh, to make recommendations uh, on how we might in improve our, our financial operations. And so uh, I, I welcome both of those efforts and on behalf of the mayor's office would ask for your support. So these funds are paying for, for whatever support the Collins Center is giving to us. Is that, is that what we're That's doing correct. here? Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Council. Any other questions for Mr. Clarkson? No. I'll obtain a motion. Councilor McCastro. Thank you. Motion, motion to accept. Oh, motion okay. to accept. A motion has been made. Second. 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 For a favorable passage. Thank you. All those in favor? All those opposed? The order passes favorably. Order that the Brockton City Council does hereby grant a perpetual right and easement of Mass Electric Company, Massachusetts Corporation of Usual Place of Business in Waltham, Massachusetts, for an underground electrical distribution system located on the southerly side of Crescent Street at parcel 110 016 and parcel 110 dash 017 describe more particularly in the grant of easement and further that the council authorize the mayor to execute said grant of easement and to take other necessary uh, take other actions necessary to carry out the terms purposes and conditions of the same refer to real estate madam president Councilor Nicastro. May I make a motion for reconsideration of our approval of items 46 and 47 in the hopes that it fails second it, it hopes that it, okay. It Motion has been made for reconsideration. Hopes that it fails? No. Hopes it does it not, does not fail. Yes. Thank you. Okay. I'm properly seconded. All those in favor of reconsideration? All those opposed? Reconsideration fails. Thank you. Thank you. An appropriation of $80,000 from the Department of Justice, Office of Community Oriented Police and Services, Fiscal 20, COPS Office Law Enforcement Mental Health and Wellness Act Program Grant to Police Department Fiscal 20 COPS Office Law Enforcement Mental Health and Wellness Act Program Fund. No match required. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $4,700,000 for the Department of Housing and Urban Development Lead Hazard Reduction Grant to Mayor's Office Lead Hazard Reduction Grant Fund. This is a required match of $400,000 that will be used from the CDBG funding. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $8,628 from the Mass Department of Public Health, Bureau of Substance Addiction <clears throat> Services, Fiscal 2021 First Responders, Naloxone Grant, to Police Department, Fiscal 2021 First Responders, Naloxone Grant Fund. No match is required. Refer to finance. We have an appropriation of $1,000 from the Southern New England Brotherhood Ride, Inc. to Police Department. No match is required. Refer to finance. Whereas the Cannabis Control Commission is considering regulations related to home delivery of marijuana products, Audit 1, City Council, by formal vote, opposes the current proposed regulations. Two. The City Council authorizes and directs the City Solicitor to communicate to the Cannabis Control Commission a request that any regulations be postponed for six, <clears throat> six months to allow the City to study the impact of home delivery by outside vendors on local licensees, the impact on the City's public safety services, or to request any other appropriate relief. Madam Councilor Farwell. Madam President, I'd like to move suspension of the rules so that we can act on this this evening. Second. A motion has been made and properly seconded. All those in favor of acting on this this evening? No. 
All those opposed? The motion fails to act on this this evening. We will refer this to finance. That concludes our agenda, counselors. Counselors recognition. Council Castro. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Today there was a two alarm fire on Warren Avenue near Dover Street. Our Brockton firefighters rescued four people, including a mother and three children, from the third floor of a multifamily dwelling. The rescue was over ladders. And I understand that from a firefighter involved that they had just practiced this technique recently. I want to express my admiration and gratitude to our Brockton firefighters for performing well today. That's my first Thank you one. For all they do. And then in addition, I would like to announce that I, I will be hosting with Councillor Jeff Thompson um, a neighborhood meeting that will be held virtually on Zoom to discuss the proposed housing development at 261 Thatcher Street. And that will take place on Wednesday, October 21st at 630. The developer will be presenting plans and pictures for the public, for anyone who's interested to see. The Zoom access information I will be placing under events in the SETI website this week, or anyone who's interested and would like it can call me at 508-897-1314. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. And speaking of heroes, our very own Police Chief Gomes was um, also saved a choking child, uh, I believe, and um, which we have a lot of heroes in our city. We thank them for all they do every day. Any other councillors have need any moments of uh, recognition? With no further business before us this evening, this meeting's adjourned.